Okay, so he admits that when these things were found, there were hundreds of them that were clearly representing insects and animals, and only about 10 of them that looked like jet airplanes. Now, before we get into the specifics, I would like to appeal to your sense of logic. Almost all of these little figurines are depicting fish, birds, insects, lizards, and frogs. And we can see when we look at the figurines where we know what they're trying to depict, like these frogs for instance, we can see a huge amount of variation and clearly stylistic elements that are not found in nature. So we know that they weren't trying to be ultra realistic here, which you can further see by looking at their depictions of this man, or this cat, or this alligator. The Tolima were artists, and like most artists, they had a certain style that they brought to the subjects that they were depicting. Now, considering that all the other objects they found are animals, and considering the objects in question, like all the others, have eyes and teeth and so on, isn't it more logical to assume that these objects are probably like all the others? That is, that they are also depicting some kind of animal in a stylized way? Okay, let's see if we have this logic straight. Since no insect has these characteristics, it leaves us with only one other choice, which is an airplane. But I thought there were fish, birds, lizards, bats, and cats found too in the other 100 figurines. It would seem to me that he's kind of skipping a few options here on his way to the airplane conclusion. Let's take the most famous one for example. This is the one that we will see later that they made a model airplane out of. The tails of all these figurines are vertical which would make me think of fish, which also have vertical tails. One fish that the Tolima would have been familiar with is the sucker mouth catfish. This might explain the round head and the big eyes, and even the small protrusions on the front of the fins. You can see that some varieties of this species of catfish have small protrusions on the front of its fins as well. When you look at the other gold figurines, you can see that not only were fish a common subject, but many different species of fish were represented. Because of the number and placement of the fins, fish are proposed for some of the other figurines as well. So when he says that no insect has its wings on the bottom, so it must be an airplane, I can only see that as deceptive, considering the placement and angle of the fins are perfectly accounted for in many fish species that were available and important to the Tolima culture. In other words, airplanes don't have a monopoly on being aerodynamic. To prove one of these figurines was aerodynamic, which according to ancient aliens proves it was a plane, they built a model of it. No, they didn't add an inch or remove an inch, unless you count things like totally removing the big curls on the front of the wings, which would have rendered the model totally useless for flying. They also added curvature to the wings, they added flaps, a landing gear, and one more little thing, a propeller and an engine. Finally, I want to appeal to your sense of logic on the following point. Consider that all we know about this culture reveals them to be simple farmers, fishermen and artisans, people that lived off the land, and considering that there is nothing in the extensive amount of archaeological material from this culture that would suggest knowledge about planes landing and taking off all the time, is it logical to assume that aliens landing and taking off in their backyards made so little impression on them that they only devote 10 of the hundreds of figurines to it and only in one tomb? Or is it more logical to assume that just like the other hundreds of figurines with eyes and teeth and fins, that they are highly stylized animals, like fish, that they knew about and relied upon in their daily lives? I think even a die-hard ancient astronaut theorist would have to admit that logic is not on their side on this one.